Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a special occasion. <laughs> hey, Three cheers for New York first for Michael, Pierce, Percy, and Ellen, Paddy Fleming. Get well wishes and to well, all characters you can.
Gilona Parker, Heather Quayley and Jerry Ryan, the half forward line. On the right, John Stone, in the centre, Jerry O'Connor, and on the left is Heather, is, sorry, is Michael Scully. Top of the right, Liam Spooner, full forward, the Agilis, Agilis, ever present, Francis Lopnan, and top of the left, Eamon Bergen. Referee for the day's game. The roll of the crowd and everything is now in order for the second in the county senior hurling semi-finals. Referee. And yeah, the goal of third is checking and the first to throw in and the game is on. And it's first to break away over there on the far side is Joe Bergen of it's Eamon Bergen of Ross Gray. Trying to get his shot in, being hooked up by the uh, over to Michael Scully at the moment. Michael Scully sends this one in towards the goal line. For the fullback, Ricky Duncan gets his shot in. Ball goes over the end line. Ross Gray, Ross Gray forward there. And lucky not to have a score, but going all over the end line there. A uh, puck out for Willie Barrett in the Carrick Swans goals. Carrick Swans playing from right to left, playing into the Donald Cleely and Sean Fitzpatrick doesn't that ball, but it's uh, it's John, it's uh, Jerry O'Connor gets the ball on the far side of the field, racing out to the far side is uh, Eamon Bergen. The rock comes a full back and he leaves loose Francie and Francie gets the ball and Francie has got himself a free, a free there for a foul and Francie's looked down by Dick Landrigan. Dick Landrigan, the full back there, committing himself and a foul on Francis Lucknan. It's Michael Scully to take it. The Swans playing in the black and white hoops. Ross Gray playing in their original or now familiar red. And the first score of the game for Ross Gray, Michael Scully's point. After less about a minute, about a minute, a minute and a half gone in the game. Puck out by Willie Barish for Swans. Down towards Jerry O'Connor. Jerry O'Connor being hooked up by Tony Fitzpatrick. And Tony racing towards goals. Tries to shot him towards. It's cleared off by Paul Delaney and Paul getting this ball over the sideline. A good clearance there by Paul Delaney. A line ball for. for Swans. It's taken by the midfield man. That's uh, Morris Grace. And Morris puts this one in. But clearing it out. Uh, Donald Keeley. And Donald from on the side of the field. Pulled down there by. Uh, it's Gerald Walsh and Gerald sends that one out over the sideline. A line ball for Ross Spray. The man with number five in fact is Paul Delaney to take it. And Paul cuts this one high in the direction of uh, the, uh, Michael Scully. Michael being chased on the far side of the field. There by the first side of the field by Tony Fitzpatrick. And Michael succeeds to get his hand pass in. Nick halfway out there, bring the hands up. Jerry Ryan and Jerry didn't get it up. And Jerry gets the second point of Jerry. Jerry sends it right across the field. For over racing it over there is the young man himself, Francie Lucknan. Francie trying to elude the tackle of the fullback of the fullback and succeeds to score. And he scored points by Jack from Francis Lucknan. Very hard to keep him at bay. A point by Francis Lucknan from an acute angle on the far side of the field. Francis Lucknan, the scorer. I make it about, almost about three minutes gone. Russ Gray, Gog Cooley, Nahali, made the score of eight fouls. Puck out by Willie Barrish. Down towards the side of the field. Racing over here is Donald Keeley, but Paul Delaney is hearing it up. And Paul shot, half locked down. Now Donald Keeley, when he gets the ball in his hand, being hooked up by Morris Gray. And Paul gets it right up the field again, up to this side of the field. And racing out to get it is the uh, corner forward for, the corner back for, Morris Walsh for, for Terex Swans. Pulled up by the coming back for, 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 uh, for Ross Gray. Paul Delaney. In towards the centre. And this is Val Ryan over on the centre of the field at the moment. And Val Ryan was fouled. Val Ryan, I would say, surely 70 metres from his own goal. A free there. A foul on Val Ryan by full forward inter county man Tom Waters. And Donald Key take this free. Another inter county man. And Donald shot. Lobbing in around the in towards Francie. Again, Francie has him in the hand, but Francie this time has come in a foul. It's a free out. 
or is it fancy no it's his it's Eamon Bergen who has committed a foul a free out to the Swans there and goalkeeper Willie Barrett to take it Willie Barrett's puck down along the far side of the field down by Ordon Erian grabbed in the air there by their helmet at Pat O'Quilly Pat O'Quilly tries a bit of clay but gets the ball only as far as as uh, Paul Walsh and Paul Walsh up along the far side of the field for Carrick. Racing back is the edge of this Tyge and Tyge O'Connor sends it this goal back down to the field again. Over here between uh, uh, Liam Sponer and Liam Sponer and Sean O'Shea with the ball going over the sideline. A line ball to Ross Gray. Wing back pa uh, Paul Delaney to take it. Paul cuts this one high in towards the direction of uh, Morris Walsh. Morris didn't get that one. It's been hooked out there by the centre back of Gerald Walsh. And a couple of Gerald Connor across to the elusive. Elusive. Lean Spooner and Lean sending that one high and sending it over the bar. Lean Spooner, the scorer of that one. Lean Spooner wearing number 14. John Stone wearing number 10. Pug out by Willie Barrett. Down to the centre of the field. Up they go for it. Kevin O'Connor gets that one out. How long they're going for Michael Scully? But it's uh, uh, Paul Walsh. Paul and Paul Shots goes out over the sideline. A line ball to Ross Spray. Kevin O'Connor take this line, sideline cut. And I see the Ross Spray man with the magic bottle over there. His bag of tricks is over there on the sideline, but. Not needed yet by Ross Gray, but I'm sure he's urging his men on. A sideline ball, cut in the field, in towards Francie, who's out on the, almost on the corner, flag over there. Trying to cut this ball in, cuts across the goals. And that ball was very nearly over the bar. The young boat on Paris, signaling wide. A good effort there by Francie. On the pressure there from Dick Lowe. back. And the ball goes over the end line and wide. From this puck out. Into the hands of Donald Keeley, not for a moment there. Pushed away there by Sean Fitzpatrick. Tipped out this side of the field. And out in here on this side, beneath me here is the uh, wing back Sean O'Shea and Sean Tuck. On the right hand, Jose Gomez. Takes off there with the corner forward. Making the special happen, sending this ball up for this corner of the field. For out comes the corner, forward and cornerback. 
and Merlin gets it. He's stepping in fancy, but it's the corner, it's the wing, it's the corner back. Kevin Newton, and Kevin gets this one out. It's a low over the sideline. The right corner back, Newton, getting that ball out. Jerry Ryan takes this sideline cut. Jerry cuts it in. Introduction of Francis Lucknan. Francis Goldberg being chased by the fullback Dick Lonsigan. Eamon Bergen is there. Well, out, clear out there is Kevin Newton. Out to the side of the beach. They're coming up to the back there was. Up goes the, up to the front forward, Tom Moore and Tom. Taking a great throw, Tom Moore. Let's hit it completely. And the rest of the defense at six and seven for the moment. That's the wing back, Kevin, Kevin O'Connor. He shot there and went, didn't go until he pulled on the ball and had it freely. This is good. Our last about is hurling. The midfield man. Pass out to the forward. Sean Fitzpatrick. Sean Fitzpatrick being dispossessed by Donald Keeley. And Donald Keeley gets his hand, gets his free there. But a hand on the back there by Sean Fitzpatrick. I notice Tom Waters there. But he should do some instructions. Incidentally, a man connected with the Carrick Swans team is Dan O'Mara, who I see down at the far end of the field at the moment. And Dan, you will know, is a brother of Dennis and Jim, the killer one man. by the centre back Gerald Walsh, also the centre of the field for Swans, along the ground by Kevin O'Connor for Ross Gray, and Aquili, along the ground again, up those along the sideline, where it's chasing over there, Michael Swally keeps it in place, and then towards the corner forward position for Eamon Bergen, Eamon Bergen and, Mar and Kevin Newton goes for it, and meanwhile it's the full, it's the, it's the full back, Dick Lundigan clearing that ball out, and the ball's going all over the sideline, a line ball to Swans, off the stick of uh, Kevin O'Connor. Paul Murphy to take that shot. It's great to do, and I want that racing him to take it. It's uh, Brendan White. When he's had a couple of goals, but it's near out here by the corner back Joe Bergen on West Bay. Up along this empty, Lee Smaller is uh, racing all together. A face of the to Paul and Eddie. Paul and Eddie is by, by Pat, Pat Murphy. And Pat trying to work his right too. Pat seems to be fouled. Pat trying to make room for Shiny Sticks on the South Lisa. Being taxed by Donald Keeley. Good, hard on the good is holding in there. And Pat shot by John Stone. Shot goes in towards the, um, uh, Michael Scully. And Michael trying to shot in towards the goals. He's taken in the hand of Willie Barrett. And Willie being chased by two Ross Gray men. Being hooked by one of them and sent the ball off the sideline. Being hooked there by number 14. And that's Liam Spooner. Liam Spooner at the far corner of the field. He may be playing right corner foul. For that instance, he was over on the left. Sideline cut by Michael Scully. Cuts it in field. Fancy Luck Nan and Dick Nandy can go for it. Nan can get it. It's sent in by it's sent in by uh, Liam Spooner. Clear off for the goalkeeper Willie Ballard. And Willie shot comes out towards Patrick Quilly and Pat Murphy. It's grabbed in the air there by Sean Fitzpatrick and Sean sends it shot. Game. Puck out by Willie Barrett. 
in the direction of Jerry Ryan of Rossley and Jerry is on his bike and Jerry is away sending this ball over to the direction of Lean Spooner and Lean Spooner is hooked off the, co the corner right for the moment but Lean young protection there is enough for the fullback Dick Townsend and Dick clearing his lines a good believing game by Dick Townsend in the fullback pressing down into the field there by the number 10 that's Brendan White and the fair hair Brendan didn't get a better rest Joel and Donald Kelly sent that one over over the sideline Swans mentors urging their team on. The sideline cut. To be taken by Sean O'Shea. And Sean puts this one in the face. In towards the section centre forward, Sean Fitzpatrick. Sean Fitzpatrick didn't get the ball. He's set up alongside the sideline by Pat Murphy's in the field. It's enough by Catalina, Paul Delaney of Rossway. And Paul Delaney shot up front. Towards, ooh, good hard pulling there by Lee Stoner. Into the hands up. Given or no quarter taken, but good hard, good hurling. Come out by Willie Ballard in the, the Swans goals. Close the direction of Pat Quayley and Morris Grace. Goes loose for the moment. To Ross Bay and Ross Craven. To Ross Craven trying to push a Carrick man off the ball there. And that Carrick man was Tony Fitzpatrick, but Tony wins his free. A Swans free to be taken by centre back Ger Walsh. I see there's a Carrick Swans man down our engine at the moment. Looks like Paul Walsh is down engine. And can Jerry Walsh? Yes, Jerry Walsh has put that one over the bar. The number six, Jerry Walsh, sending that one high and over the bar. As a result of that free. Half. Jerry Ryan, and Jerry Ryan sends that ball in towards and it's still back to Damon Bergen. Damon Bergen trying to make his way towards goals. The man in front of him, the man in front of him, he's slow, he's slow, he's the first goal, they get out, and the ball is going to hold the end back and wide. The Swans defence there at sixes and sevens for the moment, but good recovery in the end, and that ball going all over the end line. On score on it, Russ Gray, three Colleen, Nahali, in Cole, like a Cole in one. That's a one point lead for the Swans. Pop out, comes towards Paul Delaney, and Paul Delaney is unceremoniously swung around there by uh, Brendan White of Swans. A free to, to Ross Gray and a free to Donald Cayley. Donald loving this one in. Into the direction of Francis Lockdown and Dick Lonergan. None of them get it. goes into the hands of Aiden Bergen. He's still up in the corner back, Morris Lodge. And it's Michael Scottish shot, left left down by Kevin Nugent. They send out towards Francis Lockdown and he's going to get Francis Lockdown. He's going to get Francis Lockdown. over the bar. A point there by Francis Lockdown. The ageless Francis has put that one over the bar. A good pass there by Michael Scully to Francis Lockdown. And over the bar. And sides are level. Pug out by Morris Walsh. By sorry, for up by Willie Ballard. Into the Donald Kelly across the side of the field. Nick down in the air by John Stone. Nick forward run to Michael Scully. And Michael being chased by the wing back. Michael trying to shot being hooked by the wing back. That's uh, Sean O'Shea. And O'Shea playing across the field. Gets the ball over the corner. Which is again by Michael Scully. Michael Scully's in his runner across the side of the field. And it's John Stone being chased by Pat Murphy. And Stone trying to make his way towards goal, still Murphy in pursuit. And Stone has the ball dropped on the ground. In towards uh, Lee Stoner, Lee Stoner picks that one over the bar. On the run there by Lee Stoner, Ross Gray picking up the scores. Lee Stoner, number 13, putting that one over the bar. Cut to play there between Lee Stoner and uh, John Stone. And that ball goes over the, over the bar for a point for Ross Gray. Ross Gray, the lead at the moment, five points. Carrick Swans, 1-1. One, one. Willie Barrett's puck out in the Carrick Swans goal. Grabbed in the air by Morris by uh, Brendan White. Puck out the of the MJ Russell and MJ. <laughs> Francie is doing it at one end, but MJ is doing it at the other. And the sides are level one more time. A close game in very much indeed, and it's uh, Pat Aquili 
been, been chased by Pat Murphy, but Pat has tried to shot on the run, and Pat has scored a point. And they both by Tim Maloney, but Pat O'Quilly, and Pat has put that one over the bar. This one coming down in centre field, put in the air by Kevin O'Connor. Out towards Pat O'Quilly, kicked around the goal by Morris Grace. A little bit further, and out towards Brendan White, Brendan White being chased. And this end of the field by two lost Feynman, and then the field by John Stone. And John Stone in front by Michael Scully, was cleared up by Tony by Patrick, but by Walsh. Paul Walsh. Paul who's out the wall for a moment. Up the man was uh, Joe Walsh. And Joe shot half through. Put in, and I'm apparently pulling over there. There's John, it's Lee Sponer. Lee Sponer in towards, and those are not Joe O'Connor. And Joe, across the field, and Francis up now. And Francis leaving his full back in his way. Francis having a shot. Here today. A goal, a brilliant goal by Francis Lucknan, a cross from Jerry O'Connor, and the ball within the net. And no wonder Francis jumped for joy. What a goal! No goal, the referee has blown his whistle and awarding a free. A free to Michael Scully, and Michael puts that one over the bar. To me, it was a good goal, but the referee had blown his whistle. Award a free to Ross Gray and a free to Michael Scully, and Michael put that one over the bar. because Francis seems to be roaming everywhere. Hi, Willie Ballard. Down to the side of the field. Jump high there from five. Tom Watts didn't get it. Clear out the back on the field here with the wing back. That's uh, Tom Boucher. Across the field towards MJ Russell. Or MJ Russell. MJ, but MJ shot only goes first. Donald Keeley, Donald Keeley sends this ball back up the field again. For an over racing on the far side of it is uh, uh, Paul Walsh. Two watches in the back line, Jaron and Paul, and it's Paul who clears that one up the field. Only as far as Donald Kelly, Donald Kelly over the far side of the field. Out along and over and out over the end, out over the sideline, a line ball to Carrick Swans. Kevin cuts this one in, but cuts it out over the sideline. Another, uh, another line, a line ball is turned from Ross Gray. About 22 minutes gone in the first half. Pat O'Quilly's take this sideline cut, a long sideline cut, grabbed in there by Dick Lundy in the full back, and Dick tried to elude Fancy up down from one stage, but succeeded, but Fancy was there to get that ball, and Fancy fighting for it on the ground, and it's the wing back Sean O'Shea gets that ball out, off the side of the field, out towards uh, Brendan White, and Brendan on the ground, and the umpire, the linesman has his flag up, the linesman has his flag up, well and truly with the play, it was uh, the Carrick man seems to walk over the line there, and Pat Murphy, I should say, walked over the line there with that ball, and the line ball to Ross Gray, and Paul in the lane to take it. <laughs> Miss hit by Paul Delaney, and cleared away by Pat Murphy. Only as far as uh, Tom Waters, and Tom Waters, who is now in playing at centre forward, the Inter Continent, one Inter Continent scoring the other, as Tom Waters has been followed by Donald Kelly. Across this side of the field, a Pat Murphy's on the shot, and Pat Murphy has a point. A point by Pat Murphy, and two of the scorer. Point for point by Paul by Pat Murphy. Over to us, uh, Paul Walsh. Raymond, Paul Walsh is shot. Up towards the wing forward, that's uh, Tony Fitzpatrick, and Tony Fitzpatrick carrying it up the road. We're cleared off by the, uh, the ageless Tyge, and here comes the cornerback Tyge, soloing down the field. Been chased by MJ Russell, and Tyge has his shot out. The only one in the hands of his Carrick Swansman, that's uh, Gerald Walsh, and Gerald Walsh is shot. In towards the, the grey haired Sean Fitzpatrick, and Sean shot over from the far side of the field, where Tony Fitzpatrick had to get the ball away. Uh, and it's Sean Fitzpatrick on 
the ball again. Sean Fitzpatrick is shot in. It's blocked down by Patrick Quilly. Along the ground. A lot of messy hurling at it. Reds with Aero. Uh, it's Sean O'Shea trying to recover it for Gary Swan. This is it completely. Who's got the ball there by uh, Lee Scully? But Michael Scully. And Michael Scully working his way towards goals. Michael Scully has a start to start his own wire. A fine by Michael Scully. Fine by Michael Scully for Ross And scoring is Ross Gray, Nate Golini, Nahali, Ain Gould, I was three Colleen. Good heart pulling him in the middle of it. The ball's in there by Jerry Ryan. He talks Francis up man. Been pushed off it there by Dick Landigan. But Francis tries his shot from in front of goal and Francis has scored another point. Francis up man, making the space for himself. Yeah, they move back to the from Dick Landigan, sending the ball over the bar. Willie Barrett with the puck out. Hold on there by Kevin O'Connor. Cross towards Lee Scorer, who connects as well. In towards Francie, and that man has it again in the hand, and Francie tries the shot as he was almost falling, but it won't go over the end line and wide. Out, standing around the middle of the field, pulled down by Morris Grace. Over towards uh, Sean Fitzpatrick. Across the left side of the field. We're going to send in there by Tony Fitzpatrick. In total between Dal Ryan, Dal Ryan and Tom Waters. It's still out there and pulling it on the ground by him. And it's going over again. It's going to look to go over the end. I know it's not going to go give away to Kevin Maloney. And Kevin Maloney sending the ball back out the field again. Out towards uh, Sean Fitzpatrick. And Sean flicks it away across towards the Ross Grayman. And that Ross Grayman is uh, John, is uh, Jerry Ryan. And Jerry graciously accepted it. Sent back down the field there by Paul Walsh. Paul being hooshed over there by Liam Spooner. Batted away there by Jerry Ryan for a bit. Over towards Paddy Quilly, Paddy Quilly down the goal, and then down towards Jerry Ryan. And Jerry. And Eamon Bergen and Kevin Nugent chasing for over on the far side of the field. Uh, it's cleared off by the wing back Paul Walsh, and Paul trying to get it over it further. It's pulling on the ground. Trying to clear it off it further is the. And out comes centre back Jerry Walsh, and Jerry clears that one off the field. Only into the hands of Tony Fitzpatrick. Across this side of the field to Morris Grace, and the big Morris tries to walk. Kevin O'Connor <coughs> and Tom Watt is now operating at centre forward. The uh, referee hunting away, yes, that's Dan O'Mara there just behind the goals there. Dan O'Mara, referee, ushering him away there behind the goals. Dan O'Mara, brother of the Nelson Jim of Kibber One fame. It's the MJ Russell trying that shot. The MJ Russell has scored a point. A point for Swans there. MJ Russell has scored. I'm at about 24 minutes done in the first half. Back with the action, it's Jaron, Jaron O'Connor. Jaron O'Connor being chased by Tony Fitzpatrick. But Jaron gets the shot in. In towards the fullback, the fullback, they can't get the ball on again. Let out the field there by Sean Fitzpatrick. Up along this side of the field, second half pass in. Come up from uh, Brendan White. And it's clear up the field there by Kevin O'Connor. Up towards Francie, and Francie has the ball in the hand. Francie scoops to the head in the direction of Ger O'Connor. Ger being hooked off the ball. Ger going towards the end line. Ger then with the ball, and Ger sends it back out the field again. Where uh, John Stone missed the completely with a corner back, Morris Walsh. There's the ball out, and it's taken off the field by Sean O'Shea. And Sean shot. Going towards the far side of the field. It's got the hand down uh, Brendan White, and Brendan playing a roaming game. This ball is over the field, and the race is over here again. He's a midfield man. Or the
Let me to rush the gal tummer. Sorry, that's my fella. Right. Yeah. Okay. Pump me one. Watch your live rash. And the double header here today. And Ross Bay and Carrick Swans. Bearing for the second half of their encounter. The half time score again. Ross Bay, 10 points. Carrick Swans, one goal and four. Just looking around there, see if there are any changes. I don't notice anything different from the team that starts. I see the cornerback, the left cornerback there. Morris Walsh racing back in his position for Swans. Referee, don't look on enough. Thomas Ash was here. Setting the, about to set the game in motion. The throw in on the game is on. It's Pat Aquili along the ground, being chased by Tom Waters. Leading a shot in for Tom Waters. On the side of the field, it's pulled by Sean Fitzpatrick. In towards their cornerback for Rossway, and that's uh, Joe Bergen. Joe Bergen's shot is knocked down. It's a free there, a free two. A free for the foul on uh, Brendan White there, a free two. The Swans, the first free of the game. A little under a minute, and a free to Swans there, a foul on Brendan White. MJ Lonsigan, MJ Rosas and Kevin Coy in over the bar. First score of the... Yes, the umpire raising the signal now. First score of the second half to MJ Russell and Carrick Swans. Hug out by Kevin Maloney. Down between Jerry Ryan and Brendan White. Pushed over there on the far side with the wing back, that's uh, Paul Walsh. And it's Sean Fitzpatrick racing over here. Patrick Quilly has the ball in hand. He's in the back down to the other feet. First pulled on to. It's cleared out by. Uh, it's cleared out by the wing back, Sean O'Shea. And Patrick Quilly again with the ball. Being trying to be hooked out the ball. It's a cornerback coming out to clear. That's Kevin Milton. Kevin's just possessed for a moment by the. by the Ross Bayman. It's Newton still gets his shot out. Over the side of the field. Shot blocked down there by Gerald Connor. Of course, Kevin O'Connor. Kevin O'Connor. Full full of Gerald. And John, uh, Jerry Ryan, Ross Bay couldn't walk his way in there. Didn't succeed. It's into the hands of the moment of Gerald Horn. Your turn is just knocked down. Pulled on by Lee Spooner. And the ball goes over the end line and wide. Pucked out by Willie Barrett in the... In the Harry Golds. Pulled on there by Patrick Quilly. Pulled on by Paul Murphy. By Pat Murphy. Across the field there by uh, Joe Bergen of Ross Gray. And clear further down the field by Donald Keeley. In towards the corner back in the corner forward position. In towards Fancy left hand. Fancy but stick down again basically this hand. Stick down and be chased out by the corner. Paul Walsh and Paul Shot Being chased by Val Ryan and Val. Val dropped his stick anyway, or got a free for it anyway. And Val just throws the ball down in to uh, Kevin O'Connor to take the free. Kevin, uh, Kevin O'Connor's shot goes towards Jerry Ryan, and Jerry sends one in to the best of man and Tom Wanda. Back come Carrick again, but it's Ross, it's Ross Gray on the attack. 
Shoulder to shoulder now between uh, Paul Walsh and Liam Spooner. And it's Paddock Wade from that ball. He's Francis O'Brien again. And Francis O'Brien again. And Francis by the shot. Oh, and it's only inches at the combo. Oh, and it's only inches wide. Francis Duplan has demoralised this defence. He has left Dick Lundergan with an amount of work to do. Francis Duplan showing all the experience of Inter County years ago. No going on display here today that is, to say the least, exhibition. Puck out. Down around the middle of the field. J uh, Jerry Ryan trying to get the ball off, being pushed by, or being fouled by Brendan White. I was going to say being pushed off the wall by Brendan White, but being fouled by Brendan White. And the referee penalises uh, the Swans man for retaliation. The ball has moved up the 10 metres. Donald Key to take the free. To take the free. A short free towards Jerry Ryan. And Jerry steadying himself. And Jerry sending this one high and over the bar. A point for Rossway. A point for Jerry Ryan. <laughs> and score on it. Russ Gray. Cool August Ian Cooleen Dale. Nahali. Cool August Kuik Cooleen. Ross Gray 111, Carrick Swans 1-5. Puck out towards the centre of the field. A uh, nasty head wound there on uh, Jerry Ryan. But Jerry got no end of the man. Back over here with the centre of the field where it's uh, MJ Russell trying to fight him with the ball. Being parished off by Joe Berg in the corner back. And it's Russell still fighting on this. It's Berg getting that ball a little bit further. But Patakwini, and the ball from Patakwini. Out towards the centre of the field. Racing out towards Eamon Berg. And Eamon Berg and Kevin Lewis are working together. It's taken up by Joe O'Connor. Trying to work his way through, being chased by, by Joe Walsh, and Joe Walsh kicks that ball out. And he comes down towards the corner back, and that's Morris Walsh. And Morris Walsh, the referee has blown the whistle, the referee has blown the whistle, and. Jerry Ryan seemed to have taken a nasty call. There was a lot of uh, anxiety on the, uh, the Ross Gray bench there. Yeah. First statement running all here along the river. A lot of activity underneath this here. A straight substitution meanwhile. Looking okay. And uh, I see a stretcher, a stretcher, two stretchers actually coming on the field at the moment. Ross Grayman seems to be badly injured. This is the second week in succession that her Ross Grayman has been injured here in Simple Stadium. Tony Maher, a couple of weeks ago, playing a centre for Ross Grayman. Gray. And now today, uh, Jerry Ryan, Jerry seems to take a nasty knock. Yes, the crowd appreciating his display, but this is the crowd. And there was great stuff, I believe. There was great stuff on the field, is uh, John Pine in the game, and John Shutt, I thought the far corner. Facing over there is the Carrick Swans man, that's uh, Bobby Landrigan. Bobby sends a shot in across all the goals. He's scrapped in the hand of Tom Waters and Tom is fouled. A, free, a foul on Tom Waters there. A foul on Tom Free to, a free to Carrick Swans, MJ Russell to take it. And MJ taps this one high and over the bar. MJ Russell is fouled. Across for Stone and Kelly who's clearing it up and sending it back down the field. 
in towards the Michael Scully and um, Morris Walsh. The Scully gets it out of it, in towards the Scully and Scully. And then she goes inside of the field, it's Durgan. In with Durgan and in the corner back. It's Daryl Connor, Daryl Connor gets it. Ball back, he does the ball. It's Is back in the action. 
sideline push. Michael Scully and then out of the end line and wide. Is free. The goalkeeper taking the free, landing it on around the 40 meter line, 40 meters up from the Swans goals. I noticed that the Swans keeper at the moment is on, down on his knees in the goals. There, it's I say a bit a bit of spines over from taking that last goal. This is Seamus O'Shea, the Sean O'Shea, the wing back for Nice Swans getting that ball out to Tony Fitzpatrick and Connor uh, Creeley. There's Paul Delaney clearing up, uh, up, to the, up, towards the new, up towards the substitution, that's John Pine. And it's Connor Creeley gets a bit up to the field. And it comes back to the same as Paul was, and Paul clearing the ball way up the field. And racing back is Eamon Gergen. And Eamon, sh pa short his pass, didn't go in tennis. It's only coming up to Connor Creeley, and Connor Creeley being kind of pooped or tackled at the moment. But into the hands of Eamon Gergen, Eamon Gergen being chased by the cornerback. Uh, Kevin Newton, and Evan Bergen, get the ball keeper! The ball is gone over the bar! The ball is gone over the bar! The ball gives you a minute! Brave effort to get to it there, but the ball has gone over the bar! Must play forwards and rushing in there, but Willie Barr's puck out! Pulled in with Paul Delaney, clicked on further by John Tyne. Into the hands of uh, Brendan White, Brendan White is fouled, it's a 3 2. Bobby's fouls is going through. 
Referee here having a word, final the word or... And Ross Gray making a lot of substitutes, they're bringing off Liam Spooner. A shot for goal! I think it's Sean McLaughlin that's in the game for Ross Gray, or is it? I think it's Sean McLaughlin. How do you work out the Ross Gray substitution? That ball goes in, it's Kefay, a good save by Kevin Maloney and Ross Gray goes. Tony Fitzpatrick, Tony Fitzpatrick, fits it across the face to Sean, uh, to Paul Walsh. And Paul shot goes to Lydia Stray, it goes to uh, John Stone, and John Stone, Loving his ball in between Chris Cookland and Dick Lundigan. Cookland has the hand loses at the moment. It's gained, regained again by Lucknan. And Lucknan trying a shot and trying to find it. Good feeling there by Michael Scully in front of Lucknan and falls from the puck out. Up along the far side of the field, Michael Scully gets in his hand and leads the, the corner back to uh, Morris Walsh in his way. And Scully is racing forward. He hand passes across to Francis Lucknan. But Francis, I don't know why he wanted to be to get that forward. He didn't get to it, but. It's straight up by the corner back for, for Carrick, that's Morris Walsh. Up under his inner is Donald, Donald Keeley. Donald being hooked by uh, Sean Fitzpatrick. In the hands of an O'Connor, and that's uh, Ger. And Ger trying to make space and just picks up on the first of the feet. Up towards Eamon Bergen. And Eamon flicking it across. Towards the sub. That's up to me, is maybe Austin O'Mara. That sub flicks it in towards Francie, and Francie keys it up. And Francie has
heavy twisted pulling in there, but it's uh, the blondy hair uh, Brendan White trying to get that ball in. But chasing back to recovery goes here for his battle rhyme, but, and uh, Kevin Maloney clears it out. Holly out towards Paddock Quealy, Paddock low back in the defence, heavy goes to the defence. Up towards Michael Scully, Michael Scully and didn't get to it, but it's close to John Stone instead. John Stone, oh, that one hardly pulling over there. The, the Catholic men, some hardly pulling and pushing, I would say. But a really even play go on anyway. The Carrie cornerback here trying to get it out. That was uh, Nugent. He didn't succeed. Only out here as far as uh, uh, Brendan White and Brendan chasing up along the far side of the field. Into centre towards Tom Waters. Tom has it in the hand. And Tom is going through. Tom is going to go for his goal. He passed it inside. He took very heavy corner ball position. And stayed out. And got big signalling. Lay on. Fucked up by Kevin Maloney. No one's in the field. Flicked on there by Paul O'Connor. Into the hands of Francie Lucknan. And Francie has got his three. Francie. Uh, Dick Landing in the fullback, winning the foul there, and the crowd still dwindling away. Ross Frey looks to be on their way to another county final. And Michael Scully sends this one high and over the bar. And not even a cheer, not even a murmur, because on score on it, Ross Frey, Kevin Cole, of the shocked Colleen Dale, Nahali. That's all there's to it. They weren't good enough to him. That luck now and a couple more of their, their two old, their old stagers. Um, the the commentator we had anyway said that uh, the Swans gave it to him. I wouldn't say the Swans gave it to him, like, you know, but... but they, uh, they scored off of the of their... Didn't they? I wouldn't say the Swans gave it to him at all, but uh, just... Uh, and the day they'll occur with the better team more experienced. You know what I mean? Try to walk on the northern fellas. They're old stagers now. That's what I like. So will you learn from this tape? What? Will you learn nothing from this tape? Oh, I mean, it's, it's all experience, isn't it? Yeah. It's all experience. Next year, as this old song goes, what's another year? We might be, you know, come again. All that's the excitement. The longer we don't win one, when we do win one, it'll be more like, more excitement. <laughs> All you can do is drive, huh? Just we have to send another lap now. <laughs> 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 I was like a blue witch. Come on, come on. 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 Come Francis Lachlan with the huh? Every flick of the ball was in the nation, huh? Every flick of the ball. The noise is saying, I'm not going to win another, I'm never going to win them because they didn't do them. Well, what, what did you do with that, all that money you got in Piltow? Piltow. She spent it in that. She put it down on this one and lost.
Well, Jackie, I'm going to say... No comment, please. <laughs>